So this is a workflow that I use um, quite often for creating things that have to wrap around other objects. So the scene that I'm working on right now has these pots that have all of these um, ropes that go around it. And Maya 2023 has this cool new tool called um, Sweep Mesh. So this is a really great tool for making these ropes really quickly. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through it. So this is kind of my lower poly um, version of the pot. I'm just going to duplicate it and set it aside. And then we're going to make a higher poly version of this so that I can get more uh, points to create uh, the Sweep Mesh on. So I'm just putting in some holding edges here so that when we smooth this, we don't lose the shape too much. And I'm going to go into mesh and I'm just going to smooth it. So now we have this higher poly version that we're going to use here. Now, um, there's a couple different workflows that you can do, but essentially what we need to do first is turn one of our edge loops into a curve. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. You could go to create curves and you know come into the the cv tool and make a curve this way um, but maya has another great thing called convert edges let me just make sure i have it uh, it's under modify convert and there's this uh thing here called polygon edges to curve so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a curve and we're going to go back to that modify convert convert polygon edges to curve. And now we have this great curve that matches the exact shape of our model. You can also do it this way by um, going into the front camera, whatever orthographic camera, and just using your multi-cut. So I kind of did this cut straight across, grab the whole edge, um, and I have a button for this now. So I just set that up here and it's the same thing. Now I have this like really nice edge that just follows the shape of my model. So now I uh, am going to use our sweep mesh tool. Um, so all you have to do is grab one of these edges and you can go up to create and then sweep mesh. And what it's going to do is it's going to create an actual polygon mesh that follows the edge that you've just made. And you can see that it just like perfectly matches our model now because of this. So under the attribute editor on the right side, you can go under sweep mesh creator. And in here, you're going to have a bunch of uh, different settings that you can play with. You can adjust the scale. If you want to bring the poly count down a little bit, you just re reduce the uh, reduce the precision. You can also go to distribution here and turn that on. And now you can see that it is generating multiple meshes instead of the just one. So you can play around with that. If you want like a bunch of rope going around the side of it, um, you can scale the individual instances here. You can rotate them. Uh, coverage kind of flips them on top of each other. If you rotate distribution, they will start to curve around each other a little bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, when you have this somewhere that you like it, all you have to do is uh, delete your history on it. And there you go. Now you have this like nice mesh that you can uh, work with. Sweep mesh can also be great uh, if you want to make something like tree roots. Um, so let's say I have a wall here and I want to have some roots kind of growing down the front of it. I can go into my front camera and I can go to create curve tools and I'm going to use the uh, CV curve tool. And we're going to say I want this to start up here and then the roots are going to kind of come down here like that. It's not going to be exact. Um, and then what I can do now is I can do the same thing. I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to go to create sweep mesh and I can size this up. I can taper the end of it. So now it gets smaller on the end, like where the end of the root is. And then you can go in here and add a bunch more of those together. And if you wanted to, you could booleans and then union them together so that you have like one single block out mesh for your root system. I hope that helps.